Hello everyone, this is Siv Kenny, and welcome to this video review of this tablet, the new UG S640. Uh, actually, I don't know if this is new, I just got it myself though, so it's, it's new to me. So, the statement's true. Anyway, I'm currently showing you the box, and uh, no, I'm not actually talking over this live, because I can't do that. That's like multitasking, and that's really hard. Like, I can't even do that when I'm being paid to do it. Why would I do it for a YouTube video? Um, anyway, I'm opening the box now. Um, a, a bit boring. It's okay, though. Opening it up. There's the tablet. Boom. I'm, I'm gonna show you close up what it looks like. Because I'm a nerd like that. And I'm adjusting the camera for some reason. It, it, it was fine earlier. Um, <laughs> so, here we go. Please download the latest driver from the UG official website. Let's go. You can see the tablet behind the little plastic parts or whatever that is. Uh, I don't even know what that is. It's a little translucent. Um, uh, I'm, I'm about to show you a close-up of the entire bag for some reason. Like, it, the, all the accessories come in a little bag. But they're also individually wrapped inside said bag. So, like, I don't know why they're all in a bag, but I guess it works. Easier than making a mold for every item, I guess. So, here are the manuals that I show you for some reason. Quick guide. Quick guide. I don't know why there are two quick guides. And the warranty policy. Boom. Easy enough, right? I didn't even read them. Because I already know how to set up a drawing tablet, and I don't care about the warranty because this tablet was literally $2. Okay, that is the USB cable that connects to the tablet from your computer. But, you can also connect it with your phone. Yes, that's right. You can connect your tablet to your phone, and I will show you how in a bit. And then there's the stylus, the pen, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, pretty, pretty epic, if you ask me. I don't know why I spent so long staring at it. <laughs> um, and then there are the pen nibs, or the pen tips, whatever you want to call them. They're actually called nibs, but some people just call them tips for simplicity. Those are replacements in case yours breaks, which it will. Well, not break, but it'll get scratchy and stuff. And that is the pen nib remover. You can use it to remove or replace the pen nibs. And I spend an embarrassing amount of time trying to get this into focus. And I should probably just edit this out. But I'm not going to because I'm already talking over it. Oh dear. Uh, anyway. Yes. It is in focus. And I did it. Let's go. I put it in my drawer. Instead of laying it out. Because it is not in a bag. And I will absolutely lose it. And here is the adapter that can take this tablet and connect it to your phone. That's right, it works with iPhone and Android. It works. I don't actually know if it works, I didn't test it out myself. Now on to the drivers. For the S640 specifically, on the UG website, software and drivers, we go Windows, because I use Windows, and then we're going to click on the download button, which I already did, because my internet sucks. And I didn't want to download it on recording and then edit it out. So I'm going to unzip this file, of course. You know, it's a zip file. I unzip it. I delete the zip file, because I'm a neat freak. And then... I go to the regular folder, I just delete a random file that you totally didn't see, and my screen went black. Okay, now, create without limits. We are installing the driver. Wonderful. This, this is very fun, trust me. And now I need to restart my computer, so I'll be right back. All right, I have installed the drivers. I am now going to open this UG tablet program and see what it has in store for me. If it will open. Um. Is it opening? Who knows? Show. 
Um, doesn't look like it's working. It was working earlier. It booted up with my computer, by the way. I just closed it so I could show you me opening it, but, um, looks like it's not working. So we're gonna just card exit that and then open this. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Mouse control. Let's make this a right click. Yeah, this is pretty basic for the pin settings. Like, you have two buttons on your pin, and you're controlling both of these. I make both of mine right click, but as you can see, you have a very nice menu for this, by the way. Like, you can do all sorts of stuff with this. Like, it's pretty cool. Like, switch a monitor? What the? What does that even mean? Who knows? Um, <laughs> but yes. Uh, let me, let me test this out. Let me test this out. Because I haven't actually touched my tablet with my pin yet. I've just been goofing around trying to download drivers and all that. So, here's the moment of truth. I'm touching the tablet. Whoa, there it is. Okay, let me make this mouse mode, because I like mouse mode. Absolutely need mouse mode in my life. Um, this isn't as fast as I'd like it, I think. So let's make it a little faster. Yeah, that's it. Maybe a little too fast. Okay, that's the good speed. Pin pressure settings. Um, man, this tablet feels real crisp and nice. Like it's brand new. I just got it literally. Um, so digital drawing tablets. Um, yes, yes. This works fine, as far as I'm concerned. Set tablet area. No, we don't need any of this. Shortcut keys. Ooh, I don't actually use my shortcuts, but if you use your shortcuts, which you absolutely should, because there are literally 10 shortcut keys on this and I don't use any of them, that's a waste of space. But, uh, I don't use my shortcut keys. I'm a little strange like that. So use your shortcut keys, guys, please. They're useful. They save you a lot of time, too. Because, like, instead of having, like, your control Z button over here, obviously, and then, like, down here, and then when you go to zoom in, you have to use your right hands, so you stop drawing to zoom in, to go up here. And it's like, that's just crazy talk. Just use your hotkeys, your shortcut keys. Use them. And now comes the part of the video where I just draw with the new tablet. Yes, I am using the new tablet. It's great. It feels a little sandpapery right now, but I believe that is just because it's new and that will wear off. And yes, I took the film off of it, I promise. I did not leave the film on like I did on my other tablet for like two weeks. Um, totally didn't like do that. Uh, no sir, you, um... <laughs> But yes, this drawing was very pleasant. However, there is one issue. The freaking right click doesn't work. Like, on my hotkeys or my pen stylus. Like, the when I programmed it to right click, and when I right click, my computer does the right click pop up thing. However, the right click does not register on any of my applications. It does not register on OBS, um, Fire Alpaca, which is the drawing program. It, it just doesn't register. I don't know why. I tried, I tried it so many ways, and I tried changing my settings and everything, but it, it just didn't work out. So that's a shame because I use the right click a lot, but uh, I guess it's fine. So um, yeah, this is me coloring right now. I'm color picking from one of my old drawings. No need to credit the artist. It's me. Um, but yes, this drawing tablet is really nice and it's comparable to my XP Pen Star 03, which is saying a lot because my XP Pen Star 03 was $60, whereas this tablet was $2. No, that is not its market price. You cannot find this on Amazon for $2. Uh, basically, I got a gift card, and I also had a giant coupon, so I was like, hey, why not use both at the same time? So, boom, it only costed me $2.
but whoever gave me the gift card, who I won't name drop in case I don't want to be <laughs> named, but basically whoever gave me the gift card paid for most of it. But like, they didn't, they didn't, I, they didn't give it to me for free though. It was like, it wasn't a gift. It was like, I don't know. They, they, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's not the important part. The important part is this tablet is great. Feels great to use. Um, only small issue is the size, which can be a problem, especially if you're using it in Windows Ink mode instead of mouse mode, which I use. Um, but is definitely a great tablet and other than the size which is not the tablet's fault it's an amazing tablet like it's just really good really nice to use um but yeah that's really all this video is i'm just letting you know this tablet is absolutely worth it go buy it it's really great if you're looking for a tablet anyway and if you would like go to the comments and tell me what drawing tablet do you use? Like, for real, I want to know. So, like, tell me. <laughs> but yeah, tell me what drawing tablet you use in the comments. Maybe tweet at me. Show me one of your drawings. That would be pretty epic. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point is, the UG S640 is a great tablet. Great investment. I love it. Hope you do too. Have a blessed day. Bye.